the highest tide of the year called the King Tide will make its appearance this weekend. So local college students are making the occasion, marking it by highlighting the nuisance of tidal flooding and how it will get worse. Tonight on your side's Kara Dixon joined the group while they were out in Norfolk using a visual way to show how large of a problem this will actually be in the future, Kara. Yeah, Laura, Stephanie, this is the first year they've done this, the Blue Line Project, and they wanted to show residents how a normal high tide will affect residents in certain neighborhoods in the years to come. So when people see these blue flags and blue spray painted lines, they want them to think about our future, so they'll take action now. Along one of the more well-known areas to flood in Norfolk, are ODU students working to shake up some feelings about the city's future when it comes to high tide? Hopefully they'll uh, be a little bit shocked. Blue lines and blue flags marking where this water will normally rise in the years 2050, 2080, and 2100. It's just good to um, have a perspective of uh, what's going to happen in the future. A future we can plan for and around, according to ODU geology professor Dr. Thomas Allen. So as opposed to any frequent or rare storm event like we just had with Hurricane Dorian, uh, I wanted to bring home the, the ground truth. A truth many are already familiar with when the tide starts to rise in their own communities. Everyone begins to know where on the ground those little spots are, those little nooks and crannies of some of our some of our roads and some of our major roads. So those are not going to get easier to get around without intervention. So his students are out here poking and spraying in hopes of drawing attention to what will one day be reality for Norfolk. At a certain level, there is responsibility of scientists to uh, raise the awareness and the impact. Impacts that will affect the next generation. So these students are out here doing what they need to do. I'm on a roll. To make sure we take the action that's needed. Now, the city of Norfolk and NOAA helped out with this project. King Tide is expected to reach its peak at 9 a.m. this Sunday. Now, students will be out there at three sites, the Chrysler Museum, the ODU Sailing Center, and Cambridge Crescent in Larchmont to answer questions and discuss the project. I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.